Okay, it's a windy day, but that's okay. Hopefully it will not uh, tear up our microphones too much. I'm with Tim Glenn, and Tim has his new Ford. Tim, what kind of truck do you have here? It's a Ford four-door long bed diesel pickup truck. This one here is a F-350, uh, not much different than a regular F-250. It's a, it's a single rear wheel F-350. A lot of times, or most occasions, the 350s you see will be dual rear, dual rear wheels. Yeah. Why um, did you cheat? So you got a full size. Lord, how long is this bed? Is it eight? It's foot an eight bed? foot bed. Yeah. Uh, I prefer the long, the long bed. It is, and it is long. I mean, it's a, a full four doors and a full long bed. And you didn't feel like you needed the double tires in the back. Right? I didn't personally. Folks that are going to be pulling big, heavy loads, a whole lot, uh, moving a big camper, pulling farm equipment, or maybe livestock trailers, a whole lot. Would probably prefer the dual rear wheels, but for me, uh, this truck will pull everything I need for it to pull. Plus, it's kind of easier to get around town. We're using it for a family vehicle. You know, we really wanted the four doors so we could haul Samuel, our our little boy, around with us, and then uh, also have room for friends to go with us when we go places. Well, Tim, I am just walking around. It. Hopefully, we're hearing Tim's audio. We have a microphone on him, but it is windy. Uh, you want to show us what's under the hood? Absolutely. It's a 6.7 liter V8 diesel, turbocharged diesel engine. Wow. They've really got them packed in there nowadays too. It's pretty bizarre to look at it. it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's what's under the hood right now. Ford's changed the turbocharger on these a little bit this year. And uh, They've boosted these engines up to 440 horsepower. So they're, and they're torquey as can be. I, I can't remember the exact torque rating, but it's way up there. So why do you need such a powerful truck? Because you're, because you're a logger. I see it says pro logger on well, the truck. And this would make a great work truck. There's no doubt about that. For the time being, why I wanted such a powerful truck is just some of those reasons I mentioned before, I want to be able to haul or pull anything that I want to hook to. I've got farm tractors and we haul wood, we haul hay. Um, I didn't look. Do you have, a, have a big hitch on the back? It's just it's got a class three, I think, receiver on the back, but I don't I don't have a big hitch in it. But it's it's equipped. I see. To put a hitch in, my that's our just kind of a rinky dink little hitch I've got in it right now. Yeah. We pull, you know, we pull the Woodmeister sawmill with yep. the pickup, uh, the wood processor, boats, campers. Everything I'm doing is off a bumper, off this hitch right here right now. I'd like to put a ball in the bed to pull a gooseneck trailer. And that's what these trucks are really made for is pulling Let's sit down trailers. inside it. Sarah. Absolutely. Let's look at the interior. Let's go, let's go for a ride. Jump in. This one is a, is actually an XLT is the trim package on it. Which it has all your power windows, power door locks. And all that kind of stuff. It's got carpet, which I don't necessarily care for the carpet. I put these rubber floor mats in, as you can see, yeah. to try to keep the mud and stuff out. I'd rather uh, I'd like to I'd rather have a uh, vinyl floor liner just so you can wash it out and clean it easier. Yeah. Looking back into the back seat, plenty of room for the uh, baby in the back. It's like full size. Yeah. This is this was my biggest reason for going with the Ford. Um, I like Ford products, but I feel like the Ford has about as good a cab as you can get in one of these trucks very space i'm six and a half foot tall so i've got plenty of leg room plenty of head room yeah, you do yeah. and in a lot of trucks i don't not being able to straighten out my left leg driving down the road if you're on a long trip really starts bugging me yeah but then also the back seat even if you're a big dude and yeah, you're going to sit yeah, behind me sit back there just fine you still got plenty of room i can already tell it feels very smooth oh it rides good i think how long the really long bed the long wheelbase I think gives it a little bit smoother of a ride too. You're way up off the ground. Yeah. Pull my old hat out of the way. So what do you like about it? What do you really like about it so far? Uh, I really like the room about it. I like the power. And everybody likes the power. Yeah. Everybody likes <laughs> it. I don't care who you are. You're going to like it. <laughs> Before you really notice the get up is right here. Yeah, the turbo oh, boy. kicks oh, yeah. in. All right, now I have my seatbelt on. I should have put it on. So, so out on the road. Okay, so it's diesel. Mm -hmm. What kind of mileage does it get? 
uh, it gets about 15 miles a gallon running around. That's what I'm getting yeah. in it. I've only got I've got 1,200 miles. And I'm seeing on. a one, two, three, four, five, six. What does that mean? All right, that's a feature that I do like about the Ford. Also, that's showing what gear we're in right now. It's a six-speed automatic transmission. So now it's going to go into the fifth. So I can turn it off. See there, it don't show anything. We're just yeah. Or you can, or it'll actually show you what you're. Or in. you hit the, this button right here, and what I'm doing right here is plus or minus. I can. I can knock the six off, see, yeah. and it won't go above fifth gear. I see, so you can tell, or I can knock it, tell it. Yeah, I can knock to it. Be like a four, a four gear, a four speed. Yeah. Or I can put it in here in manual, and it won't go below or above fourth gear. That is crazy. But I don't use that that much. But the part about not going up is really handy in the mountains when you're on a road to keep it from changing gears a whole lot up and down. You know, you, if it, there's no need for it to be in fifth or sixth gear. So what other kind of cool features have you found about it? What else has surprised you about it? Uh, it surprised me one how quiet it is for a diesel truck. Very also, quiet. and on the interstate, there's no noise. You don't hear any wind or or anything like that. Where'd you buy this one, Tim? Where did I buy? Yeah, who'd right you buy here it? in Valdez at Paramount Valdez, Ford. Paramount yeah. Ford. Yeah. Good little uh, review for Paramount Ford. There, those guys are pretty nice to you always. Uh, they've been. Uh, this is the second truck I've bought from them, and I really like them. And uh, I feel like I get as good a deal there as I can get anywhere. Yeah. And so, price was another factor. Feel the turbo Man, there. It really has some power. What we need to do though is get a. <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing about 70. 70. Well, grief. that's what. Uh, it didn't take no time to get there either. No, for wow. a big old truck like this, it's kind of crazy. But what we need to do, what I'd like for us to do, is to put a big load behind it. Yeah. And show how to pull a mountain. Well, let's take this truck out and uh, do a segment up on the side of a mountain sometime. You know, yeah. one, on one of your jobs or something, that'd be great. So, folks, you've had the experience of in 4K of riding with Tim Glenn and his new truck. That's right. <laughs> it's a Ford F-350. Yep. Single rear wheel. Single rear wheel, uh, turbocharged diesel. diesel. Yeah, that's right. Any idea what is the horsepower rating? Four hundred and forty on this. Four hundred and forty. Good grief! It goes. <laughs> it's scalded cat fast, man. Yeah. Holy crap! I've honestly, I've not been this fast on this road myself. I've lived here for five years. It's pretty quick. <laughs> I kind of feel the skin on my forehead peeling back a little bit. <laughs> Thanks to all who watched Tim Glenn's. Awesome yeah. channel. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> First video on Tim's channel. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a bunch more on these trucks and stuff too. All right, man.